know things are getting real when the double push chair arrives. Uh oh. <laughs> this reminds me of the vlog that we filmed when we went to John Lewis. That's actually very good. <laughs> <laughs> and my thumbnail oh, was yeah. us like trying out singular buggies for the first ever time. I feel like we've blinked and now we've got double. We've not really been into any like baby shops. No, like not that. at all. I don't think we need to. I think it's literally the same but yeah. copy and paste plus bigger double. Yeah. There's been a couple of moments this week that have really highlighted to me the reality that the family is about to go from three of us to four of us incredibly soon. Otty's just transitioned into her new bedroom and that is like all set up. She's fully in there, she absolutely loves it. I'll show you it later on in the vlog today. Otty's old bedroom that is gonna be our new daughter's nursery has just finished being decorated this week and the new wallpaper and the new paint and everything, it looks so, so lovely. But we haven't put any of the furniture like back in there yet or anything, we're gonna do that over the next couple of days. I'm really wrapping things up with work as well at the moment, and as those things are like slowing down and I'm not beginning new conversations and new projects and new things, that's also like really highlighting that there's gonna be like such a big lovely like chunk of time at the end of the year and the start of next year for family life. But yeah, I feel like it's all happening. It's all in full sprint. Like, we're literally like a handful of weeks away now. I'm 35 and a half weeks. That is just like blowing my mind. As soon as you go to 36, I always think of it as just like That's just it. any day. You're done. Like, yeah. 36 is just like. That's you're like here. you need the car seat in the car. Legit. Yeah. And the bag. You need to pack the your hospital, hospital bag. bag. It's kind of just like. I've got like three days to pack my hospital bag. <laughs> I feel like we've got everything under control though. It's under control. I think it's more predictable because we've done it before. We know what we're, we're not going into the unknown. It feels different this time. Yeah, it does. Like it feels, even with no hospital bag packed, it feels like the hospital bag is closer to being packed because we've done it before so we know what I know what's packed. going in it. Do you know what I mean? But also I feel like I want to be more physically prepared than mentally prepared this time. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And especially Last Christmas time we were well. like, we need to learn how what to do. Yeah. This time we're not doing so much of that. We're just doing more like, oh, let's clear that cupboard before, or let's do that before. It's like it's more like yeah. our surroundings rather than uh, us. I don't know. I don't know how yeah. to explain it. It's like. I think you've realised the lack of time you have for six months or a year after your after your baby's born that nothing else that isn't a priority gets done. So we're trying to do those things before we don't have the time to do those things like clearing through the attic and obviously switching out Otty's room like I just said to her new bedroom and then redecorating the nursery for our new daughter. That's just more faff than what you think. Like it <laughs> is also, just more work. Don't get me wrong, it's lovely work and it's enjoyable. You could do it after, but I think you and I enjoy knowing it's done. Do you know what I mean? Like yeah. we like going into this and just being like all we have to think about it's Baby all... and Otty and Nala. Yeah. That's it. We don't and each to... other. And obviously <laughs> you and I. See you in <laughs> I'll see you in a year. <laughs> see you in a year off. <laughs> see you next Christmas. You're you're joking about Christmas. I feel like I like keep sitting up and standing up, sitting down, standing up. But because of the dates that it's predicted that she's gonna be born. We have, prior to her being born, got to buy everyone's Christmas presents. We've got to wrap everyone's Christmas presents. Decorate the house for Christmas and obviously if you watch the vlogs you know that Zoe doesn't doesn't do that half-heartedly, should we say. She goes in pretty hard up there in those boxes. I don't know if you can see behind that glass here is all of our Halloween decorations that have literally just come down like two, three days ago we took them down. We're in the thick of it. We're in the thick of the transition of Halloween out Christmas in, family of three to the side, family of four coming in. And there's a, there's a lot to do. There's a lot of exciting stuff to do, but there is a lot to do. Anyway, I feel like I haven't even said good morning. Hello, how are we? It's currently Saturday for me. I feel like I'm gonna upload this tomorrow. So if you're watching this on the day it goes up, you're only like, I lived that, that day yesterday. Anyways, I need to stop talking. I need to actually put together this because the baby could come any day. I genuinely don't know how big this is going to be because we don't have, we don't have a double. any friends other than my mate Asa who's got twins who have got two kids. 
I say that, I feel like there's gonna be a friend of mine that watches this vlog and now messages me like, Oi, I forgot you me. forgot me? Yeah. Close, in Brighton, physically close. We don't have any friends that have got two children. So we don't really, I don't see these. Also, I just wanna say massive love to Bugaboo. We were legit gonna buy this and we bought like previous brands and stuff. Bugaboo very kindly sent the Donkey 5, which is what I'm unboxing here. They have not asked me to put it in any videos or on Instagram or anything at all. But I'm going to put a little ad gifted on the screen because technically this was sent to us. But yeah, like I said, they haven't asked for that at all. This is not, this is not sponsored. I found the instructions. There is a video. Oh, it's a video? Yeah. That's cool. This colourway as well it's is lovely. just so lovely. So that's what you can have down the side. Look at that. Yeah, so I think, so basically I think it goes wide and then you can squish it smaller. Does that make sense? But you still have a tiny bit down the side, which I think means you can put that little shopping basket down the side. No, I think I'm just gonna carry her around in this. <laughs> like, where's your daughter? I'm like, yeah, she's here. There she is. You know, like some people you see with dogs in, in like the, tiny little yeah. handbags. They're like, oh, what's in your bag? Oh, just my daughter. I wonder if Bugaboo make a dog push chair. <laughs> a little side oh clip, a little God. side clip. We need a new extension for Nala. No, I'm... <laughs> Looks good, doesn't it? Yeah. Now I just need to build Otty's seat next to it. I quite like that little basket next to it. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie to you, that didn't take anywhere near as long as I thought it would. I feel like it's been about 15 minutes or so. I've just built the entire thing. So in theory now, I should be able to pop this here, one down there, and this one. Take this off, pop it here. Extend that and then pop Otty there. <gasps> That's so cool. Isn't it so nice? Yeah, it's lovely. I don't feel like it even looks that wide. It doesn't look as wide as what I thought. It's no. just the thought of having two, two children next to each other is like that's like reality. Do you know what oh, I mean? Oh look. Oh my god. That's gonna be crazy when they can just sit next to each other. Have a little look in. Um, that's cool that you can go like this and then Otty can just see her. Otty, come and take a look at this. That's for me. This is for you. And who else? Baby. Baby. Who sits on this side? Mm, Otty. Yeah, do you want to have a And Daddy, pick me. And sister go in there, that's right. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. That's good. There we go. Wow. Where are we going? I was like, okay, let me shove this in here. Let's put it away. And Zoe's like, one minute. Just having a little go. What, a little push around. I just can't believe we're going to have two kids in this. Hello. You're going to go in here in like no time. Yoy. We are so deep in the thick of the rearranging of the house. Like, you know when you're, you know when you're a teenager and you just randomly decide late at night to rearrange your entire bedroom and you're like, what if my bed was on that side? What if my little chest of drawers was over here instead of over there? And then you start moving everything around and you kind of can't be bothered to like finish it off, but you're too deep in to be able to go back because you've created absolute mess everywhere. Yeah, that's kind of where we are. If you saw the reality, behind the camera, behind the vlogs, but you've got to look at the positives. It means that progression is being made. It means we're on the way to the end goal. And I can see it, I can feel it. I mean, Zoe can feel it. It's literally, there is a countdown. There is, there is, there is a time that the baby is gonna come. And, uh, and as much as possible, ideally everything has to be done. <laughs> I've just finished the last episode of a program that I've been watching over the last couple of days and I cannot recommend it enough. It's on Netflix. It's currently, I wanna say, yeah, number three in the TV program section. So it's like super, super popular and it's called Escaping Twin Flames. It's absolutely mind blowing. Like it's about this cult that 
I want to say is in America, but then because so much of the cult is online, there's people from all over the world in it. It's basically documenting the account of people that have left the cult and they've got so much inside footage of like the video calls and everything. And it's one of those things where it's like, from an outsider's point of view, it's so incredibly hard to understand how people are like getting away with doing this and how people are getting tricked into being involved in it. Just, like, I just find it so fascinating. I listened to another podcast recently. I can't remember the name of it that was about a cult in the UK. And again, it's similar kind of thing. Like it's, it's so unbelievable that number one, things like this happen. And number two, that the people who run these things can get away with it. And like the people that are running this one are still doing it. I just went on their Instagram a second ago and they're still doing the exact same thing and they haven't been arrested yet. It's like three episodes, one hour each, escaping twin flames. Definitely go check it out. One thing that Otty currently doesn't let us do. Is anything to do with her hair, nothing. Anything, we're not allowed to touch her hair. I think I might have been able to. Maybe my turn. Oh no, not your turn yet. We're gonna do Meow's hair first, here. This is her little teddy Meow. And apparently we have to do Meow's hair. Wow, and then doing my hair? We're gonna do mummy's hair. Who's doing mummy's hair? Do you want me Daddy's to do it? And now, <gasps> let's do matching to mummy's hair. Let's do Otties. Yeah. Yeah, come on then. Yeah. Come and sit down. <laughs> and we'll do yours matching like mummy and meows. This is gonna look so pretty. It's gonna look like mummy's hair. <gasps> it looks so good already. It's already like a looking. Princess. It's already looking so pretty, Otty. Do you want one big one like that? <gasps> oh. <laughs> Can you see it? Oh. Look at that. That's pretty. That is pretty. Look, it's like, like mummy's. mummy's. <laughs> She's taken Zoe's out and hers out already. Did she take the clip out of the? Oh look! Oh, she. <laughs> <laughs> She's Where's Meow's gone? And the only reason we're trying is because her fringe is getting long. <laughs> She's, her fringe is just in her eyes. It's a bit slippy. Okay, well I'll hold it then. <laughs> there we go. Let's straighten up that little helmet. There we go. Woohoo! Oh, oh, oh! This way! Hottie hasn't quite worked out the leaning and turning yet. So it's basically straight line until she's about to crash and then you have to save her. And then basically that repeating again and again for the entire walk. Oh! And turn it, good job. Oh, that's quite the angle. We're gonna go zigzag. Oh! Put out the deck. What is it? Oh, the step down oh. there, yeah. <laughs> the ramp. The little, the little speed bump. The speed bump in the road. <laughs> and then if you lean this way, lean towards me. The backpack. Lean to the right, Otty. Look. She What's actually, that? I think she knows what is it? left. <laughs> it's like mum got her. The bump. Let me bump. Oh, let's not race the bump. <laughs> I don't know if the camera's going to pick this up, but there is like the most clear layer. <laughs> what are you doing behind? Clearest layer of mist. What's up? Oh, sorry, am I in your way? The clearest layer of mist in the distance, like across every field that we're walking past. Again, I don't know if the camera's going to pick it up, but can you see that just above the grass? Yo, what's happening over there? Is there like a goose fight or something? Do you think? I thought maybe it's like a geese fight. Oh, maybe. I do know that squirrels make weird noises. Sounds like it's coming up the tree. Sounds like there's... <laughs> happening all over the place. Yeah, I don't know what that noise is. Is it squirrels? Are they singing? Maybe it's not. Maybe it's some kind of bird or duck. Over the bump. Are you ready? Yay! Yay! <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> We'll have to take you to the skate park soon. Are you ready? We're gonna hold on tight. 
<laughs> Hold on tight and we're going to chase mummy. Have you got both your feet on there? Yeah. Are you ready? <laughs> Let's go. Whoa. <laughs> you got me. <laughs> do you want to get rid of the camera or do you want to keep it there? Keep it there. You want to keep it there, okay. Let mummy walk ahead a little bit. <laughs> Let mummy walk ahead. <laughs> Are you ready? Yeah. I do. Are you steady? Yeah. One, two, two three. Three. <laughs> <laughs> Again. Again? Yeah. It's a good couple of hours later. We had a really, really chilled evening. Just popped Dotty down to bed. And now I'm about to do what is currently my favorite thing to do in the evenings, which is just take a good chunk of time, not rush, and just cook an actual nice meal. Definitely doesn't have to be fancy or take long to do. Like I'm literally just doing some like garlicky bacon pasta tonight. But yeah, I'm just loving to like take the time slowly and enjoy cooking a really nice dinner. And putting on the right playlist makes all the difference. At the moment, I'm obsessed with listening to music that I used to listen to when I used to skate when I was a teenager. It just feels like super nostalgic. I know all the words. I'm now getting distracted and cutting open the bacon, but I haven't even put the pasta in yet. I never know how much pasta to actually do. I feel like I've got one of those spaghetti measurers somewhere. If any of my family are watching this and don't know what to get me for Christmas, there we go. A little spaghetti pasta measurer so that I know when I'm cooking for just myself or me and Zoe or me Zoe Notti, how much spaghetti to, to actually cook. That would be an ideal present. I think this might be my first GNT in like probably four months, maybe even more than that. I used to love a little GNT on the weekend, but since I've been really like prioritizing my fitness and my sleep in particular and like tracking everything with this little ring that I wear, this has just completely gone out of the picture. This affects my sleep more than anything, like so much I can't even tell you. So I don't really. Don't really ever drink GNTs very much anymore, or alcohol in particular. Anyways, finished cooking up my dinner. It does actually look, I was about to say very nice, but it just looks like plain pasta with Parmesan cheese and bacon, to be honest, which is literally what it is. I'm gonna sit down and eat this, probably watch Netflix or some YouTube, but before I cut into tomorrow, because like I said, I'm gonna vlog tomorrow as well, I'm gonna insert an edit that I put together from a Future Self Coffee espresso martini evening. It was like, literally I had the best time ever last Thursday. This footage is literally the definition of manifestation. Like, I'm gonna insert some clips actually before the clip that you see from last Thursday of me talking about wanting this to happen and like putting it out there into the universe. I think it was like five months ago or something. And then I'm gonna to cut to the clips of last Thursday of it actually happening. And now I'm currently on the way heading through the lanes to a new coffee shop that I saw on one of my friend's Instagrams on the weekend. I think it's only been open for like three or four days or something. Thanks Thank you so much. much. See you soon, man. Thank you. This literally sums up everything I love about Brighton. It's just like chatting to Rory then, the owner of Dandy. New little coffee shop in the lane. It's going to be adding in like a evening drinks club with like alcoholic drinks and stuff, which sounds sick. Maybe in the future we'll be able to get a little Dandy X Future Self coffee pop up or a little something going. Thank you. 
in there. And that one goes here. And I roll dice. So now if you roll the dice and then you tell me what colour it lands on, I'll balance it on the top. Yellow. Yellow. So can you put that yellow piece, can you pop him up on here or do you want daddy to do it? Daddy do it. Okay. Oh, I'm good at that and you're good at dice. What colour is that one? Black. 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 Are you going to flick it instead of roll it? Red. Red. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. We'll start again with red. I don't like that game. You don't like this game? No. I didn't think you would. It's no. not the most fun when you're only two. No. Good morning. Good morning. You gonna say good morning? Good morning. Say good morning. Good morning. We've just got home from playing. Where have we been? What like that? What did we do this morning? Play. What did we play? Football. We've just been playing football this morning, haven't we, out and about? Got there. And then what did we do after football? Coffee shop. Coffee shop? What did we buy from the coffee shop? Some cake. We did buy some cake, didn't we? Did you get a coffee? No, with daddy. Just daddy. As fast as you can. As fast as you can? Yeah. Oh, you're trying to do it as fast as you can. I didn't realise what you were saying. Fast you're standing them all up. Good and, job. And Can you kick them over? Whoa! Whoa! I found that you can. Should we stick them all on the log burner? Yeah. <laughs> Still going on the never ending things that were moving around the house. I'm going to cut the camera otherwise you're going to get so bored because I'm just going to be doing this on repeat for the next like, hour or two. Here we go, back at the tip again. Just the fun vlog content, you know, of just prepping the house and life for the new baby. Back at the tip with more rubbish to get rid of. Currently in the new office room upstairs. Absolutely loving having this space already. I'm just editing up the vlog that you're currently watching because I'm aware that I need to get up tonight. And as I'm saying this, it is one minute past three in the afternoon, but I need to actually finish off the video and end it and export it and upload it and do the thumbnail and everything. So I'm gonna leave the video here. At the end of every vlog, I always answer a question from the previous video, but I'm going through the previous video and I literally can't find a question. I think it's because it was a Q&A all I did was answer questions. So nobody's asking me a question. Everyone's just commenting different things about the video, whether it's like baby name suggestions or like comments on the room because I filmed it in here, or so many people commented the word big love, which if you watch the last video, all the way to the end, I said, if you're still watching, which in fact, let's do it again now. If you are still watching now, just like in the last video, drop a comment down below to let me know saying big love. And in my last video, I was like, there's probably only gonna be like four people who comment it. There is literally thousands. So I really, really appreciate it. If you are still watching, drop a comment down below. So instead of me answering a question, because I literally can't find one, I wanna ask you a question. And then I'd love for you to comment down below your answer. What is one thing that you would love to achieve, you'd love to accomplish in 2023? We've still got most of November, and all of December. So you've got kind of like six weeks, just over six weeks kind of time to do whatever that may be. What is something that you would love to still achieve in those next six weeks? Sorry, my camera just ran out of memory. Yeah, drop a comment down below. I'm genuinely really interested to 
sit down and read all your comments and see what you're all up to and what you want to do. If you've enjoyed this vlog, then be sure to go down below. Give it a thumbs up, it literally takes a second of your time. Head down below now, click the little thumbs up button. Have I got anything else before I go? Oh, I guess the hoodies and the tracksuits that you've seen Zoe and I have been wearing throughout this video, I can finally wear, I can finally show you in videos and stuff, which is part of the new Future Self collection called Hibernate. Zoe came up with a name a couple of weeks ago because these are possibly the most comfortable, cozy, just like the dream tracksuit, the dream hoodie, the dream joggers to just hibernate in. In this kind of weather when it's getting a little bit colder and you just want to like lay on the sofa, and cozy afternoon, cozy evening, as you've seen in the vlog, going for like a nice little walk. They are the absolute dream. They are coming out next Sunday for pre-order. Or even if it's not for yourself, even if, even if it's a Christmas present for somebody else, just the most comfortable joggers and hoodie you will ever wear. You're just going to want to hibernate in them. That's why we called it that. But yeah, thanks again for watching the video. I feel like I've only got a couple of vlogs left, maybe like one or two, until family of four. So this is one of the last videos that you're going to see of just the three of us, which is wild to think about. I'll see you soon. Appreciate you watching.